Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. It's still Indian food week here on HK and for today's dish we're going all the way to South India. We're going to be doing a South Indian staple called Dahi rice. Dahi means yogurt or as we fondly call it curd. So curd rice, Dahi rice, yogurt rice, whatever you want to call it, it's a staple food in South India. It's not something you will see on a lot of restaurant menus outside India and if you do see it, you probably didn't even order it. But it's comfort food for most people and it's delicious. And we're going to be making it with, guess what? Our favorite cauliflower rice. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make that dahi rice. Keto dahi rice. So the first thing we're going to do is make the rice component of our dahi rice dish which is basically grated cauliflower and I'm using the grater attachment in my food processor. You can do this by hand as well, no problem. Once you have grated the cauliflower, put that cauliflower rice in a bowl, give it a good seasoning with some salt and once you've done that, pop this into the microwave for about 10 minutes to cook. Once that's done and out of the microwave, just give it a good mix. Then I'm going to add in our dahi or our curd or our yogurt. Obviously being on keto we want to use full fat yogurt and then give that all another good mix. And if you feel like you can add in a little extra dahi just so that it's a little more creamy. Or you can even add in some heavy cream just to lighten up the mixture. So technically that's already dahi rice but what makes it special? It's something we call tadka, which is tempering of spices, which goes into that. Anyway, enough jibba jabba, let's go temper some spices. Now it's time to temper some spices for this dahi rice and I'm going to get a little saucepan or a kadai on the stove. You can use a frying pan as well, no problem. And I'm going to heat up two tablespoons of ghee. Once the ghee has gotten nice and warm, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of mustard seeds. I'm also going to throw in three dried red chilies. These are not spicy at all. You can get them in any Indian grocery store. Next, I'm going to add in some chopped up ginger. And now once the mustard seeds start to pop, I'm going to add in some fresh curry leaves. And I'm also going to add in some hing or as we call it asafoetida in English. And just temper those spices and then you take all those spices and you pour it over your dahi rice. And then of course you want to give it all a good mix. And that's pretty much all it takes to make keto dahi rice. Oh yeah! And we're going to finish it with some fresh coriander for garnish and a little extra flavor of course. Coriander tastes delicious. And that's it my friends, our keto dahi rice is ready and it looks delicious. Anyway, time to taste. Alright folks, so it's time to taste our keto dahi rice made with cauliflower rice and I'm very very excited to be really honest, super excited to taste this. Mm. Oh wow. This is hitting all the check marks in my book. I'm loving it. Cauliflower is magic. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, I mean, I do love my rice and I do enjoy dahi rice, especially with poppadum. But this is banging. Like the thing is, most of the flavors come from the spices and that ghee. And, and the cauliflower is just a vehicle for all those flavors, you know. And I don't know about you guys, I, I am loving this. I am definitely going to be eating this more often now. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will make this at home. Those of you who are not Indian, who have never tasted this before, I implore you, I urge you to try making this and let me know what you think about it. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Seriously? And 
I don't know about you guys, but I eat the curry leaves. Like deep fried curry leaves. What's not to like? Mmm. Flavor. It's all about the flavor.